Hello, my name's uh, Stephen, and uh, I've decided to do a video on how to integrate Octopus Energy Agile with uh, a Zappy Wall Charger. So uh, I'm on the Agile Tariff, and I wanted to make that Zappy Wall Charger more interactive and more uh, smart by using Smart Tariff from the Agile Tariff that I receive. So uh, I've been tampering with uh, Node Red on Home Assistant. Uh, I'm no expert in any of this at all, so a lot of this code I've, I've copied and I've, I've got a lot from the, the Zappy website, uh, from other people that have written loads and loads of other code, but uh, uh, this is something that I've done, I, I did something on the house where I was just reading data from thermostats and valves and just doing little charts, uh, and a colleague of mine, uh, he uses the Sonoff um, Wi-Fi transmitters and he wires them into light switches and things like that and he can integrate them into node red so i've borrowed or should I say i've copied a lot of his code uh, to try and integrate some myself so i've done one at the top here where i've integrated a son off uh, uh, as the humidity gets higher in the bathroom and the ensuite uh, uh, the fan will come on uh, when the humidity gets too high but again, a lot of this code is what he wrote most of this. Um, some of these, I just copied them and uh, I've just been testing and messing about and just trying to get uh, trying to get it to work, really. Um, like I said, I'm no expert. I'm, I'm not an electrician or anything like that, or certainly not a computer expert. So uh, uh, my, my, my friend, he wrote all this uh, for the Agile Tariff, uh, some tables and charts. Uh, but one of them is quite interesting that he wrote, and it's he calls the API and I can get, uh, he stores the data into a database. So what I've done is I've uh, sort of amended his chart. So uh, where he calls the database there, uh, I've just pulled a spur off uh, to, to talk to the Zappy charger using these two nodes here. So where the prepare gauge is, I've set a, where the price comes in less than five and a half P, I can turn the charger on and off using one of the son offs. So I've just set a price here of five and a half P and when it goes to 5.6 P, it turns the charger back off again. So I'm going to quickly show you how I did it and uh, using that son off. So what I'm now going to do is wire my um, uh, two uh, live and neutral into the son off. So just bear with me a second. I'm just going to, uh, I'll do that and uh, come back to you. Okay, so uh, I've wired this in. So apologies uh, if you think my wiring's terrible, but uh, I've put my, my live. So I've got live in and live, live in and live out there of my son off. So what we're going to do now is uh, I'm going to uh, wire this into the uh, Zappy. So I'm just going to turn the power off at the uh, fuse board. But what's important is I've got batteries in the house. So this does play a bit of a problem later on. And you'll see that in my video later on. So I'll just turn the power off at the fuse board. Uh, I've left the batteries and everything on in the house. OK, I've got the uh, I've got the front cover off now. I just want to make sure. Um, got the front cover off and I've turned the power off and I've just confirmed that by putting uh, that on and oh yeah that's, uh, that's definitely gone and then we can see I'm looking for the E sensor there it is uh, there so I'm going to wire in that E sense but I need to wire it into power so I'm going to wire it into uh, we've got some power here, so I'll wire it in to the eSense, and I'll just let me just do that. Okay, so I've now wired in my uh, positive and negative there. See that there? There's my son off, and then I've wired it into my eSense. Uh, oops, sorry. Uh, positive and negative there. So there's my uh, son off box. So what I'll do is I'll just wire that in, and I'll put the cover back on tidy all that up a little bit and then let's pull the power on okay so i'm in the car now and i'm just going to uh, test out the uh, uh the node red so i've actually set it um for uh i set it for 5p so what i'm going to do now is um i'm just going to change the rates to do a demonstration so if i it's about I think the time now is about, um, we're about we're half past five, so the electric rate's quite pricey. So I'm just going to put 40p in, just to get a just to get a reaction, just to make sure this is working. So if I put in uh, up to a pound, I'll just press done, 
and then I'm just going to deploy it. So it's saying the car charges off, uh, and the the uh, uh, the MQTT is connected. So I'm going to press deploy. So I've just deployed it. Um, I'm just going to refresh the chart. Let me just re refresh the um, the database. There we go. So it's set on. And now if I go to the car dashboard, there we go. It started. So charging at seven kilowatt. So, and then we can actually see the charge is actually triggered on. So we'll have that little E symbol come up. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm just gonna set, uh, blimey, this is flat. Okay, what I'm gonna do is set this back to, well, I've set it at 5P or 5.5P, but um, I'm just gonna set it back. I'll set it to 5.5P. So if I set that to 5.5, and if it's more than 5.6, uh, so that's what I'll have in real world. Let's just deploy it. Uh, so it's saying on. So it'll just read the database now. I might just uh, trigger it off. So, yeah, it's gone to off. So let's make sure it turns the car off. Oh, it's still on. Actually, I know why. It's because I've got batteries in the house. Let's just have a look at the charger. I bet it's pulling it from my batteries. Yeah, so it's actually pulling it from my batteries. But see where the E symbol's gone now. So that the E symbol's gone. Good. Finally, I'd like to thank uh, uh, my friend Joe Mellon, who's uh, helped me a lot with the project and uh, wrote nearly all of the code for it and uh, the sort of help and support of getting it uh, working. So thanks a lot, Joe. Uh, but if anybody does have any questions or queries or they want to discuss something or have any improvements for me, certainly let me know on uh, the comments on the, on the video. It'd be great to hear. And uh, thanks for watching.